Oscar Kush from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Lance Corporal, 0341 Mortarman. Did you spell your first and last name? O S C A R, Oscar, Kush, K U S H. All right, good to go. And uh, your hometown? Chicago, Illinois. So, how long have you been in the Marine Corps? Four years next week. All right. So. And um, have you been on any deployments? I was on the 13th MU in 2011, and I was part of Operation Enduring Freedom in 2012. All right. And um, what is your job in the Marine Corps? What do you do? I'm a mortarman, infantryman, 0341 mortarman. All right, good to go. And uh, did you start MMA after you joined or before you joined the Marine Corps? After I joined the Marine Corps. All right, good to go. So what made you want to start? I did wrestling for the Marine Corps, and um, I wanted to do it again, but um, wrestling's not really as popular as it once was, so I figured I had to adapt to the times and learn some new things, so I decided to learn mixed martial arts. <laughs> All right. And how long have you been training for MMA? Since January, so almost 10 months. All right. How often, how often do you train? How often, do, or how long does each session usually last? Six days a week. I usually come in at 5:30 after work every day, and I stay till about 8:30, 9 o'clock at night. And uh, what all goes into it? What do you do every day? Uh, well, it varies on different days. On Monday we do jujitsu. Tuesday we do Muay Thai stretching. Wednesday wrestling and boxing. Thursday Muay Thai again, stretching, mixed martial arts mixed in there. Friday Jiu Jitsu, sparring, Saturday mixed martial arts, here in Oceanside and in Escondido. There's two gyms. There's one here in Oceanside and there's one in Escondido. And then Sunday is kind of do my own thing. I go to the beach, you know, do a little run. All right, uh, can you tell me about today's training? What exactly did you do today? Uh, today, uh, we just did a lot of cardio, you know, conditioning. Just. Uh, you know, just kind of working on things, fine-tuning things. Uh, obviously, I'm just breaking the surface right now, so I still got a long way to go, but, you know, working hard, so. All right, so how many fights have you been in so far? Two fights, one amateur and one professional. All right, what's your record so far? Two and now. All right, good to go. Do you plan on making a career out of it? Yes, I'd like to. So, um. What was your first fight like? How did you feel going against the opponent for the first time? I was terrified. Terrified. <laughs> uh, I almost puked right before walking out. I don't even remember the fight. It was so quick. I knocked him out in 12 seconds. So it was done before I even knew. Wow. Um, has being in the Marine Corps helped or influenced your training in any way? I will say the mental discipline of it has helped because as everyone knows, dealing with the hardships in the Marine Corps definitely helps you mentally get stronger. So I definitely take away that aspect from the Marine Corps helping me with fighting. And it calms me down from what I deal with and work being an infantryman. Everyone knows how that is. <laughs> Stressful job. <laughs> Absolutely. Has there been anybody in your life who has really helped you through your training and through the fights that you've been in? Uh, you know, my coach Sean Loeffler, my coaches Steve Cazola, Eddie Escobar, John Schultz, John Rizzo, they've all helped me, you know. And my wrestling coaches from high school that I grew up with, you know, without all of them, I wouldn't be where I am today. I didn't have a father growing up. He passed when I was younger, so uh, I kind of always had to do my own thing. So my coaches are the ones that basically made me what I am. I owe them everything for it, so. All right, good to go. Is, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? I owe a lot of it for wrestling growing up in Illinois, you know. I think it's, um, I do a lot from that, you know, it built me strong as a man wrestling in Illinois and uh, where I come from, you know, growing up in the city, you know, kind of on my own because my mom was always working. My sister was so old, like a lot older than me, so I was always kind of on my own. So I grew up in like, you know, the tougher, like south side of Chicago, so I, know, I think that helped me as a man grow up and kind of helped me be successful as well as the Marine Corps and everything else. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, if anyone wants to me up, you know, wants to sponsor me or get a hold of me and, uh, you know, set me up with a fight or something, you can find me on Facebook, Oscar Patrick Kush, I'm there, so, it's not hidden or anything, you just have me, send me a message, do what you gotta do. Uh, what drives you to, to compete in, in fighting and in life, obviously? 
<laughs> you know, uh, growing up, like I said, like, I don't know, I kind of always been on my own. And uh, I don't know, everyone that has grown up around me has seen me grow into like this man. And I always felt like, I always had to be an example for my community. And, you know, I was very active like in the church when I was younger. People always kind of looked up to me in wrestling and everything. And, Honestly, like I just want to be a role model for like those kids that don't have families, you know, don't have like their parents always around and everything. Cause I know what it's like, you know. I mean, my mom was there. She's always working though. You know, my mom was my father because my father was gone. You know, he passed away. So I'm, I just want to say, like, you know, there's kids that are discouraged because of like, you know, they don't have a father, or they don't have like a parent in their life, and uh, stuff like that really pushes me to be successful. So, cause I see a lot of kids growing up, especially where I'm from, that take the wrong paths. And uh, I don't want anyone you know, go that way, because I didn't go that way, and I think I could be an example for them. And uh, how do you think, um, what do you think it is about mixed martial arts and um, competing that drew you in, as opposed to like the, the, war, the Marine Corps warrior ethos, you know, the, um, that community? Oh, because like, I don't know, like growing up with wrestling, I've always been a very competitive person. You know, anything I do, I've always been very competitive. and. Um, you know, I, I played football, you know, I played basketball, I played a bunch of sports, but the one thing I loved about wrestling was, was that it was my thing, you know, it's kind of like a single thing. Yeah, there's a team, of course there's a team, but um, I just kind of like it because, like you said with the warrior thing, it's like, well, if I'm a Marine, I'm a fishery, man. you kind of look back at like the Spartans, always sharpening their skills, you know, being the best at everything they could do, and um, I just want to be the best I can at everything I do, so. Fighting, like, it helps me get rid of stress, helps me. I'm just, I'm at peace when I do this. And it's weird, but it's the truth. It calms me down, makes me feel good, so. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lance Corporal Oscar Patrick Cush, um, 0341 Waterman from Southside Chicago. This is my life. What do you find similar about being in the Marine Corps and being part of a mixed martial arts um, team? I would say the discipline aspect of it, because you both you need the physical and mental discipline in both. You know, just like in the Marine Corps, you need to be physically fit. You need to be physically fit for mixed martial arts. You know, and as well as the mental discipline, things get hard in mixed martial arts, just like they get hard in the military. You know, when you're on a hike, you want to quit. Just like when you're in the cage, you want to quit. Can't quit though. You want to win. <laughs> and uh, can you just say in your own words what kind of drew you? Um, to mixed martial arts. Do you say that one more time? What kind of brought you to you know this gym and mixed martial arts? Well, it's actually a funny story. Like um, when I got back from Afghanistan, I uh, I did a lot of weightlifting in Afghanistan, and you know I just kind of thought about it as like like weightlifting's cool, you know, but um, it's not really my th like it's not really my thing. I miss competitive sports, and I played football and I wrestled growing up, and uh, I, I I miss that. I miss that competitive aspect of it. So I actually was just gonna like get a membership to a gym at like 24 Hour Fitness or something, but uh, then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go look at like mixed martial arts gyms and I'm gonna see what I can do because I want to wrestle. I want to do some wrestling tournaments. And I came in here and I talked to Sean and I was like, you know, I just want to wrestle. And he's like, well, you could wrestle, but why don't you just learn something else? And I was like, okay, I guess like I might as well. So I came in and. I was kind of like, you know, kind of scared because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And um, I came in, and I came in on wrestling day because I didn't want to like, you know, I'm not going to come in on Muay Thai. I've never done kickboxing before. Who's, who's going to come in on Muay Thai, you know? I'm going to come in wrestling. So I came in and I, I wrestled, and um, I did good, you know? I think I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do after not being on the mat for almost four years. And uh, you know I did good, and I, you know I kept coming back. And, you know I really liked it. You know so I signed up and I committed to it. And then um, uh, you know I was here, I was training. I remember I told Sean I was like, you know I don't really want to fight, like not yet. Like he's like, oh you should fight. I'm like, no I don't want to fight. And um, I came in one day. We had the board all the fights. It was about a month later, and I look. I'm like, because oh, I want to see who's fighting in the gym. I want to go watch him. You know show some support for the team that you know I joined. And all of a sudden, like I look at my name, I see the board, and there's my name, and I'm like, "Why is my name on here?" And he's like, "You're fighting," and I'm like, "What? No, I'm not." He's like, "Yeah, you are." And I'm like, "I'm fighting," 
He's like, yeah, you're ready. I'm like, no, I'm not ready. Like, I don't want to do it. He's like, just trust me, you can do it. Well, I did it, and I knocked him out in 12 seconds. So, <laughs> I guess he was right. <laughs> so, yeah. Tying it into the Marine Corps, um, how has you know, your experience in the Marine Corps helped your budding uh, MMA career? Like I said, the mental discipline of it, you know. Having to deal with all the stresses, whether it was like in Afghanistan, you know, on the Mew, the workups, because as everyone knows, every infantryman knows, like the workups are all the stresses. And you know, all that stress, it really helps me here because I don't know, I'm just, you can tell I'm just mentally stronger than everyone. So it really helps me in that aspect. And the physical aspect of it too, of course, you know, because, you know, PT in the Marine Corps, you know, PT here. And it's definitely helped me, so. Kind of run us through an average day for, for you. Oh, well, when we're not in the field, the average day in the rear, you know, usually wake up, formations at 6.30. So wake up at like 5.45, you know, shave, brush your teeth, get ready, get dressed. You know, we usually PT, work out in the morning. And then uh, we come back, you know, do breakfast, take a little break, take a shower or whatever. And then we'll do a class. We're going to do a couple classes, you know, whether it's like me being a mortarman, it's the FDC, or we'll do like, you know, gun line drills. We'll take the guns out and we'll go do drills. Or we'll clean weapons and um, we'll go to lunch, do the same thing in the afternoon, wait to get off. As soon as I get off, hop in my car, take the 40 minute drive down here, come here, train, until about 8.30, take the 40 minute drive back up, call the night, watch some TV, go to sleep, do it all over again. And so how many hours a day do you think you're doing PT? Uh, well, come in like 5.30 here, so it's about 8.30 or 9 o'clock, so that's what, three hours almost, three and a half hours here, 45 minutes to an hour in the morning, sometimes a little bit longer, sometimes a little bit shorter, so is that four hours a day? Sometimes I PT during lunch, sometimes, I'm not going to say I do all the time, you know, but uh, sometimes I do a little bit of cardio, it depends on what we do for PT in the morning. Yeah, you know? understood. Uh, and that's how many days a week? That's every day during the week, and then on the weekends, I'll come in on Saturdays, I work out for about two, three hours in the morning, and I'll go to the beach, just do a little swimming, you know. And on Sunday, I usually, I go for like a little run, go to the beach, just hang out, you know. Get in the water, it's a little bit of exercise, I'm not really kind of, I consider it exercise, that's, that's my thing though. I just love the beach, so I use it as an excuse. And, um, and then, I guess what we were talking about before about, you know, um, Marines wanting to, to be the best and the, the challenge and things like that. How do you, um, I guess, well, why did you join the, the Marine Corps originally? You know, I, uh, I was going to go to college and uh, I really wanted to, but I had to reason with myself, you know, I just think that mentally, if I don't went to school, I probably would have got caught up in the party aspect of school or college. And I had to reason with myself, you know, and it was like, you know, I just kind of want to do something different because I have friends going to school and everything, but I just kind of wanted to be a little bit different because I've always been kind of different growing up. And uh, so I joined the military and, uh, you know, I wanted to see the world and I wanted to get that experience and know what it was like, you know, to go over to like a third world country and do something that, you know, no one's ever really done. And I got that opportunity and I'm very glad that I did it. I am. I know. Why, uh, I guess, why did you choose the Marine Corps um, over the other branches? I wanted to be the toughest one. I didn't want anyone to question me, you know, like, I don't know. That's, I wanted to be part of the best. And that's what they always say, the Marine Corps is the best, so. Um, being the best, is that a, has that always been a common theme in your life, or is that, you know, just? Oh, I mean, I've always wanted to strive for greatness. Anything I've ever done, I've always wanted to be the best of what I could. Even if I wasn't the best, I was going to be the toughest, you know? That's how I look at everything. Like, if I'm not the best technically, i am be the toughest guy out there. That's how I was in wrestling. In wrestling, I was not technically the best wrestler. But I knew when I stepped on that mat, I was tougher than you, and I was going to beat you, just like in the cage, just like in the Marine Corps. You know, that's just the way I, that's why I was raised, so. Because you know, you always want to sharpen your skills. You always be the best of the best. Just like you said, the Spartans, they always want to be the best of the best. They're always trained, always doing everything they want to do. And what are we, what are we now? Modern day Spartans. So, I mean, you know, just gotta, gotta be the best I can be for myself as well as for my country, because that's what I do. I serve my country as well for my gym. 
So for my family, you know, my name, back home, you know, I just want to make everyone proud. I want to be a role, a role model, you know what I mean? So. Absolutely. Um, where, where would you like to go um, or see, you know, your MMA career go to? What, what's the future for you? I want to be the best. <laughs> Played it simple. I, I, I firmly believe that if I put my time and effort to do it with all my heart, I believe I could easily, you know, accomplish what I want to do. And I want to be the best. I want to be the champ. One day. Yeah, um, when, uh, when do you get out of the Marine Corps? We got next fall. So. And uh, what, what's, what's your plan once you get out? What is, uh, I mean, are you going to just live at the, the gym here? What, what is, do you have a plan yet? Or? I'm going to keep training, go back to school. Obviously, education has always been a very important aspect of my life. Even though I didn't go to college, it's still very important to me. And, you know, I got the benefits, I got to use them. You know, I earned those. I'm not going to throw them away. Education's everything, you know. I got to sharpen my mind just as much as I got to sharpen my body, you know what I mean? So, make me stronger mentally as well as physically. You know, be the best I can. Like I said, be a role model, so. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, like I said, I just like, you know, I do this all for my family, all for my friends. I just want to make everybody proud, you know. I want to be the best I can for them. You know, for everyone back home, everyone that supports me, you know, whether it's my mom, girlfriend, everybody, you know what I mean? So.